Talk about homes and housing, 728. Leaseholders and prospective buyers will now have more clarity on purchasing homes with building safety issues such as cladding following an update from mortgage lenders and the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors. Much of this, of course, tracks back to the Grenfell tragedy of 2017. Adrian Burton is chair of the Tenancy Association for the Landmark Apartment Complex in Bexhill in Sussex. What are some of the issues that have been encountered then as a result of this? Good morning. Morning. What have been some of the issues or some of the problems that we need to overcome? Uh, well, the cost to the leaseholders, really. Um, the cost and the mental health and the fact that we're living in um, uh, uh, tinderboxes that we don't know if they're going to explode at any moment. Um, it's the fear and the cost and the news today is welcomed, but um, who knows? Um, we've heard lots of things before. Let's see if anything happens before we uh, think it's good news. So are you able to sell on the apartments? Um, we haven't been, no. They've been worth zero um, unless we have a cash buyer. But I, I did get a, a quote myself from a company um, who will buy at a, a reduced rate, but it was about seventy, eighty thousand pounds below what it was actually should have been worth. Ouch. So it's yeah, absolutely, it's just not worth it. What's changed um, today? Because there was a there was a key height, wasn't there? Eleven meters, I understand, was deemed to be one of the key measures. Well, we're above eighteen meters, so we've everything hits us. Right. Um, and um, today, apparently, the um, big mortgage lenders will be um, lending on properties with cladding issues um but in, yes that's great but i'm not sure that will actually happen we shall see so um what is I it do know. you mind my asking what it's done to the value of your is it an apartment you have there yes i've yeah. got a, a two-bedroom apartment on the seafront um with parking um right. and it should be wonderful to live in but um and what value, was its what was its value might i ask um, I bought it um, about eight years ago at 195,000. Um, it should now be worth about 250, 275. Um, I was quoted um, 185. Oh my God! Um, that was about two months ago. Um, and are you trying to move? I wanted to move just before this hit our building. Um, I wanted to move in about um, July 2020. Um, and I was I was slowly doing it up to put it on the market, um, mm. and then it hit our building in uh, October 2020, and we're still sitting here waiting with lots of promises. How confident are you this will change things for you, Adrian? The news today about the mortgage company. Yes. Um, not that confident. Um, like I say, we've heard things like this before. Um, at the work on our building was supposed to start in September 2021. So well over a year ago, that was promised, and that's not happened because when of you paperwork. say the work, this is presumably to remove the cladding, is it? When you say yes, yeah, nice. remove the cladding and put it all back on again. Um, but because of paperwork issues, what, to put non-flammable cladding on, you mean? Yes. Surely? Yeah, yeah, right, right. Yes. Yeah, okay. Oh yes, yes. To the whole of the outside of us has got to come off. I see. Um, and that hasn't it, even begun yet. No, we haven't even got scaffolding up or anything. Um, we are told it's due to now start in March-ish, um, March or April. And who's so, funding that, Adrian? Um, we've got... We um, are applicable under the government funding. Oh, the um, I see. But right. our original developers have gone under, so um, we have had to make a warranty claim on our 10-year build warranty. Um, and that was two years ago, and we've Poland. just had... I know, we've had the investigative work finished, but we still don't know whether we've got a warranty claim yet or not. Let us know if that does have any change. Adrian, I have to go because I'm already very late to the news. I'm, what, a, what a few years you've been through. Adrian, thank you. Adrian Burton is chair of the Tenancy Association.